Hello, my name's Abby and I'm the lead singer of indie pop band Foxglove and we are based in Manchester and we've just released our latest single, Bright Lights. Bright Lights is infused with loads and loads of 80s and 90s influences from all of us and lyrically it's about accepting that you might not have had the best times in the past but looking forward into the future and embracing the good times. This is Foxglove with our latest single, Bright Lights. See, yeah, see the moment that the intro hit there. Oh, that beat, like the kind of do 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 do. Yeah, oh, I love it. It, it kind of gave that. me like a hooked, uh, like a, an anthem-y kind of like a stadium anthem kind of. Yeah, definitely. Uh, bump, definitely. Bump, bump, da, 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 like really cool and a, a great intro from Abby. Just really nice yeah. insight into yeah. the song. We Cheers for that. Always love hearing what this song was actually written about, and then Big we can thing. take our own kind of. Spin direction it. with it but yeah, yeah. I, re- I really enjoy- i completely agree with you i really enjoyed the the vibe of the intro immediately mm-hmm. um and you know when abby very kindly went into detail in the intro she was completely right or i heard so many 80s more so than 90s influences very 80s inspired like the chorus like the chorus effect on the whole mix was really there yeah um Big time. Chorus is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like so cranked 80s. up to max. Oh, yeah. Like there's, like there's chorus and then there's that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of chorus. But again, like that was the 80s. Like they yeah. saturated everything with chorus. Um, I thought the sound design throughout is great. It was a bit of a busy mix for me. Mm-hmm, fairly busy. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot of sound and instruments fighting for that same space, yeah. um, which is always a tough one to mix. I thought the drums were mixed great. I love the kind of, as you said at the beginning, like you just feel the drums immediately yeah. and you really feel like you're there watching it live, which yeah. I love when production is done like that. Mm. And um, the chorus effect on the guitar, I really like because again, I just like 80s guitar. I like 80s effects. Um, just, a, just a good song. I, I just enjoyed it. I um for me the intro was the best part of the song just because it it immediately put me in the space that I needed to be in totally which is a really well written intro when intros often go like people don't really think about the importance of how do you start your song Mm -hmm. and I do it myself all the time I always think well how should I start it should I start it straight away into something they build it up really nicely and it just goes and just bang it's straight into the song loved it straight in yeah um what would I have done if I was there? Um, I listened to it a few times, and for me, I'm losing the vocal at points. Mm-hmm. And I think just the main part of why you're losing it is because it is so saturated with chorus. Uh, maybe the rate is too much on the chorus effect. Uh, always hard to bring that down, uh, especially when you want to keep that 80s feel. So I definitely feel feel that. I've, I've done it myself so many times and it is hard to tame when you have that chorus in there because you want to get it's like very fine lines between the the perfect amount of chorus and then destroying everything yeah i think they've got the right amount just it needs to be brought back slightly in the mix um again just because 
it was a busy mix, a lot of elements fighting for the same space. Um, I would have probably just gone straight to the, the music or the instrument bus and just sidechained the vocal just to try and bring that back a little bit when the vocal comes in, just to bring that vocal space out a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but great song. Love the 80s vibe. Love it. Like, love the 80s. It's like one of the eras I'm like, I should, should have been born in the 80s. Because this was, I was all <laughs> about it. The it was the era for music, wasn't it? It's oh, mate. I thought the drums were mixed era. perfectly. Fit, like Again, fitting in the mold of like the 80s kind of heavy yeah. drum sounds. But I really like the amount of fills that he used as well. Like sometimes like drummers can, you know, do a really good beat, but there's not like that kind of fill transit. There's a lot of fills and transitions in his patterns, which I quite liked. Um, and just really like kept the kept the interest on the kit, you know, for me, especially in the kind of the bits where it was like, you know, an intro and the chorus really, really kind of going for it. Um, like you, the intro was pro probably for me the strongest part of this track. Um, but there was lots of interesting areas within the track as a whole. Um, and you can clearly tell that the band have been like weaving this sonic musical chaotic mess um that that's the best way i can describe it is there was just so much going on and it definitely like hits you um but i really you know i i, I get what they're trying to do and i get their sound like they have a sound which is good for a band um and they're certainly not like i can't think that they're copying anyone or anything so they have that nice distinction that makes them unique. Um, I really loved the lead guitars. So Me too. Aside, aside from the the chorus effect and everything, I think they should have had a, like more of a feature because there was some seriously good like kind of melody and, and licks going on within this track. Um, and it might have been the chorus, or it might have been just how busy the mix was. Uh, they were just getting like. Well, they were there and I could hear them, but I had to listen quite hard for them. And I, I thought they were that good. I would have pushed them out more and just been like, you know, hear me. This is a feature. Um, and I loved the way that it kind of stripped back after the kind of the busy intro, etc. to the, I don't remember it all, but I remember the bright lights. Like that bit when... It kind, of, it kind of stepped back for a section before it then went in with the, the chorus. Uh, and I really like, I'm always talking about a shift in dynamics. Really, really like that. I was certainly drawn in at that moment. Um, and these guys are clearly a talented bunch. You know, it's it's a good song, good sound design. And I just like the vibe and feel of the track and definitely can imagine it being quite like, quite quite a good one that I'd want to dance to watching them live. I can I can tell that it's like built for the live the live show. Definitely. I thought the harmonies were recorded like really well as well. The, but they mm. were brought through nicely. The, I thought the vocal all round was recorded really well. Yeah. Um I think I, I think for me, the production let the team down a wee bit on this track. Um not to be too critical, but I just think, you know, that it it was really busy and there was a lot going on here. Um, the mix, I, I can't tell if it was like if it was stereo widening effects or whatnot, but there was it was almost like it felt narrow but was too wide. I can't I can't quite make sense of it in my ears. Um, but there was some there was some fundamental kind of lack of clarity in the mix and a bit of muddiness going on, um, and there was some core instrumentals that were just fighting frequency wise against each other. So there was a lot of overlapping that was kind of, again, we, we were talking about fighting for space. Um, and I was looking at the, the submission and the waveforms often tell a story. And you can tell that this song is really like smashed into the limiter. So, so there's not an awful lot of kind of breathing there. And maybe a lot of, of that kind of squashing into the limiter has, has contributed a bit to that muddiness as well. And that kind of lack of clarity. Um, not too sure but fundamentally like I, I do really like what this band was trying to do I think had the production just been a bit more on their side in terms of clearing up the sonic space 
given things like the electric guitar more room to soar through, the more room for the vocal to soar through, and to just general have that kind of that polished production. I think this would have been, you know, just even better. But it was a great submission. Um, and I really enjoyed kind of listening and critiquing it. It was it was really cool. Oh, yeah, me too. I really enjoyed that song. Just, and I love uh, the, the name of the band, Foxglove. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like, again, like we spoke about Continue. the song titles a few weeks ago, like Bright Light or Bright Lights, sorry, is the name of the song and very clearly presented throughout is that word. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's clever and good songwriting. Really enjoyed it. Thank yeah. you, guys. It's cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 